This is Damon from Power Punters Anonymous here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the new X-Wing Helmeted Ray from the Star Wars line, The Force Awakens Wave 3. Now, this is a GameStop exclusive, as you can tell by this sticker here, and it is number 119 in the Pop Star Wars line. It is a part of Wave 3 from The Force Awakens, as I had mentioned. On the back of the box, of course, you get the usual um, clear side window that comes with the Star Wars ones, I'm assuming, because I'm looking over at the... Oh, no, that's all of them. Concept parts on the other side. Duh, I'm stupid. <laughs> Anyways, on the back of the, lo the box, you got the new line, um, which includes an action pose Ray with a lightsaber, action pose Kylo Ren, unmasked, Luke Skywalker with his awesome beard, General Leia instead of Princess Leia, uh, Maz Kanata, General Hux, finally, Snap Wexley, FN2189, which is, if you don't remember, the traitor stormtrooper, um, a Guavian, and ME809 droid. Um, there are some others on this that are in this line that are not included on the back of the box. We do have a um, Masconada with her goggles up, which is, I believe, a Target exclusive. You do have a Ray handing out a lightsaber, uh, the Jedi Temple Ray, which I believe is Walgreens exclusive. Um, who am I missing? Oh, there are some Poe Dameron's in this line as well. There's a Poe Dameron with his um, orange jumpsuit from when he was kidnapped on, uh, on aboard Kylo Ren's ship, which is a FYE exclusive as well as a Poe Dameron that is a Hot Topic exclusive with him and a blaster and his standard jacket, I believe. Um, anyways, on the side of this box, you have the concept art. Now, let's get unboxing to see what this beauty looks like underneath. Now, when I bought this pop, I was really excited. It looked really awesome, and my box is folding up. No. That's depressing. Whatever. Right. It does come with your standard Star Wars stand. This, is, this one's a little bit of a pain to take out. Okay, no, nope. finally got him. Finally got to understand there. Um, she's in a really neat looking pose. She does have the X-wing pilot little doll she had in the movie, which is a really nice detail to that. Um, the helmet feels really nice. It almost it doesn't kind of it almost doesn't feel like vinyl, but it definitely is. It's probably just the paint that makes it feel that way. Um, she has that really you know nice looking see through over the goggles there, the visor which is really cool, and you can still see the detail on her eyes. Um, it is really cool. You see her, her little bun on the back, which is another little nice nod, nice detail. She does have a little bag as well, since this was back when she was, you know, still a scavenger. So you see all that. One thing I, I take an issue with the pop, and this is just, you know, me nit nitpicking at this point, is um, I do remember in the movie, having seen it so many times, the helmet being a lot more rusty and... Um, and dated it looked old you know it looked like it belonged to someone who who might have died on the battle there um but that's just me nitpicking you know it's still an overall really awesome looking pop i like the pose that she's in um i do like the little doll that it comes with the attention to detail is insane the amount of you know little little curves and like folds on her clothes is fantastic the robe looks great the boots look phenomenal um yeah, man, the, the paint job is nice and clean, too. I, I don't think I've seen one that's this possibly this clean. It just looks so freaking good. Um, but, yeah, this is probably... Let me take a look at the back of the box to see. Oh, look, also comes with a little smuggler's bounty. Um, advertisement, I've not signed up for that box. I may end up signing up soon. Aside from the Kylo Ren and the uh, Action Pose Ray, this may be my favorite pop in this line. I really, really dig this pop a lot. Um, it bobbles really nice, you know. I've had a lot of luck lately with these bobbleheads because before I used to buy bobbleheads and they'd be, you know, their head be turned that way, their head be turned this way, all crooked, all janked. But um, lately I've been really, really good with these these bobbleheads. Um, all the Marvel ones have been coming out good. This one looks great. 
But um, yeah, man, definitely, definitely loving this one a lot. This is a GameStop exclusive. I did not pre-order it. I managed to get lucky and walk into the store and grab one. Um, if you did pre-order it, they are out now. So if they don't call, you can go pick it up. Which I strongly recommend if you are a fan of Star Wars, if you're a fan of The Force Awakens, because this pop is awesome. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.